Okay, so uh, making a quick video here. Now you can see I've got my um, DaVinci, which has been stripped down and modded with the Arduino Mega and the 3D printer shield. And the reason why I rescued this old machine was that it's got a really great extruded head with a spring-loaded um, wheel that keeps the tension on the filament. Uh, unlike um, some more expensive printers I have, the Upbox, which don't have that. Um, of course, uh, that's fine for filament that's not temperature sensitive, I mean in terms of uh, changing its shape, but of course ABS is, so this setup is problematic when you're printing large, large models. And I've been giving it some thought. Now, now you might say, well, how is this relevant? Well, there are a lot of 3D printers that are sold that don't have the fully enclosed setup, like the Creality printers, for example, they're not fully enclosed. So you might want to uh, maintain the temperature at a bit higher level. And what would be the effects of that? So um, the room temperature at the moment, because the econ is maintained about 23 degrees in this lab. And so I thought, okay, I want the temperature to be higher than that, the ambient temperature inside this area. So what I've done is, hopefully you can see this, but I grabbed a, a box frame. This is extruded aluminium um, square pieces that have, have got plastic um, end pieces to hold it all together. And it was a leftover from a student project. And what I've done is I've taped um, pieces of cardboard onto the outside. And I should be looking at the camera and off the screen and the top there. And that actually fits perfectly over the top of the printer. Now I noticed that the temperature rose up, the ambient temperature inside rose up to about 40 degrees. So it's an increase of about, uh, let me see, 17 degrees. Um, and the big test, this is my big test was last night, so what difference does it make? Well, I was extremely pleased with the results. So I'll show you um, a model that I've been printing. It's actually a scanned model of a sweet potato. Now this is the half without the box. And I don't know if you can see here, but there are lots of cracks because it was printed this way. And there are lots of um, cracks in it, right? So the integrity of the model is, is, has been uh, uh, compromised. <coughs> so, now let's have a look at the other half of it. And have a look at this. If you look at it, it's absolutely beautiful. There are no cracks in it. There's no signs of um, contraction halfway through the print from cooling. It's all integral. So I'm super pleased with that. Uh, by the way, the model was prepared with Cura software. Uh, the 3D scan was done by the little handy XYZ scanner, handy scanner. Um, and this base was taken out of an up box because I like the perforated base. It's very good for um, adhesion. And I've guillotined it to fit the DaVinci footprint. Um, one other little modification you might want to see, I'll just bring it up here. Um, so, I've 3D printed this uh, filament um, guide and also I've put a piece of cardboard here and the cardboard sits underneath the underneath and what that does is when you open a new roll of filament it prevents the filament from dropping down underneath the roll and getting caught underneath the roll and causing a printer jam so if the filament falls down here it just sits on the cardboard it doesn't go underneath and get caught so that really uh, helps a lot and this also helps too. So yeah, I just thought you'd like to have a little update uh, on that one. Um, oh, the last one is I printed these little TPU um, clips and this is actually a piece of Meccano metal inserted in here and that clip holds that base onto the heated bed which is right there. Okay, that's enough for now.